Hi everybody, thank you for watching. For those of you guys that are new, my name is Carly. I am a little bit sick, so if I sound stuffy, I apologize. I'm like just getting over a cold. But I just got a new mask in the mail today and I really wanted to try it, so I figured I would film myself trying it out. It's the Acne Purifying Peel Off Black Mask. So I saw a lot of reviews on this product and I genuinely wanted to try it because I get a lot of satisfaction seeing stuff come out of my pores. I've done pore strips a million times in my life and I just love like when you rip it off and you can see like all of the crap coming out of your pores. So if you want to see this mask in action, then please keep watching. I saw some reviews on this product and I heard that it is very painful but Beauty is pain. Do you guys ever get lost on Instagram and end up on like those pimple popper pages? Some of them I genuinely can't handle, but some of them, I don't know why, it's like so gross, but like I can't look away and I get like lost like scrolling through all that. I know that's really gross, but people are weird, but myself included, I don't know, it's just like interesting to me to see stuff coming out of your pores. Alright, so let's get into this. Dry the cleansed area and apply the mask on desired area, avoid eyebrows, eyes, and lips. Peel off after 20 to 30 minutes. I'm using this little foundation brush to apply it. Ooh, it's really cold. It might be cold from being in my mailbox though. So I'm not like a huge mask person. I do them on occasion, like if I have an event or if my skin's just feeling really gross. I picked up a couple new ones, but this one I really wanted to try first because I want to clean out my pores. <laughs> Where does my hair end and my face start? I don't know. I'm hoping it's not too painful. I know like the pore strips are pretty painful and I'm doing this all over my face, but it's fine. Let's do here too, why not? My nose is sore from blowing it so much, so this actually might be a dumb decision. What I'm wondering is if it really hurts, am I able to just wash it off or am I just gonna have to bite the bullet? All right, so it says to leave on for 20 to 30 minutes, so. I guess I'm just gonna go hang out with my cats. So I'm gonna set my timer. I'm gonna set it for 30. So it's only been like 10 minutes and it's already getting really tight. Like I can't even really move my face. Children! Let's see if I go wake up Bear if he gets scared because of my face. Here's Bowie. Bowie, look at mommy's face. Look at me. He doesn't care. Bear. Bear, look at mommy. Do I look scary? Oh, you don't even care? You don't care because you're such an angel and you don't judge anybody by how they look, right, bud? I think it's so funny when people complain that I show them too much. It's like, they're the most innocent, beautiful creatures. How could you ever complain? Oh, thank you, buddy, bud. This is me trying to smile. So it's starting to get extremely Height. So I'm gonna head back up because I feel like my timer is about to go off. Hi. Hi, mother. Oh my god. What are you doing? I can't even move my face. Oh my god, you're scared. I'm driving. I can't really look, but you're scaring me. Why am I scaring you? I don't look pretty. You shouldn't have put it in the whole face until you try it. Ew, maybe. look. Ooh. Ew. You know Ew. what? I bet you it's black. No, because I think when you pull it off, you will be able to see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. I have 30 more seconds. Hmm. That noise reminds me of my alarm every morning and I hate it. So where do I start? <laughs> I'm scared. Ow, it hurts already because I have hair. Ow, I don't want to do it. Oh, do I do it quick? Like a band-aid or do I do it slow? I think I'm going to do it quick. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, quick is definitely better. Ow! I'm going to zoom in on what comes out of it after. Even though it's gross. Oh, my face is so red. I feel like I just got waxed. I'm allergic to wax, so I don't ever get waxed. Okay, ready? One, two. Oh, my eye's twitching, look. Oh my god. I'm really not trying to be dramatic. I'm gonna do it fast, ready? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> ah. Oh. Oh. 
I feel like I just see like a lot of hairs. Oh, oh, I think I waxed my face. I'm gonna go wash my face and I'll be right back. So I just used like a washcloth to get the remaining off. You can see my skin is really red right now. I have pretty sensitive skin so I'm definitely not allergic to it because I would have known instantly. Like I've used masks before and like as soon as I put them on they were like tingling like crazy and I knew I was allergic but I think it's just red because it looks like it literally ripped off all the hair on my face. My skin, I don't have lotion. I didn't put any lotion or anything on. My skin feels really, really soft though. It definitely took hair out of my face. Like I could see, cause I um, use a razor and I use like an eyebrow razor and I shave my face normally, which I didn't, but you could tell that it like took off the hair. Like even on my nose, which is actually cool because I hate those little hairs that you get on your nose. I don't think my pores look any smaller, maybe like a little bit. Very irritated up here, probably because my skin's like, what the did you just do to me? I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's on my mask. I know it's gross, so if you get grossed out easily, then just fast forward this part. But I know there's a lot of weirdos out there like me that want to see it, so let me zoom in real quick. Cool! I guess it worked more than I thought it did when I'm looking at it this close. This is so gross. But it's like satisfying, you know? Like knowing that all of that just came out of my skin, like that makes me happy. Okay, so after seeing it close up, I feel like it worked a lot better than I realized. So I'm so happy all of that stuff, whether it's hair or blackheads, is out of my face now. My skin does feel really soft and nice, although it is a little bit red and like irritated still. I'm gonna probably go do like a cold compress with like a towel and then apply some serums. That way my skin can chill out a little bit. But yeah, that was actually really cool. I feel like you should not use this that often. I don't know if it says it. Maybe like once a month, if that, if you guys need like a deep cleaning. But I'll definitely use that again. It was extremely painful. I do recommend ripping it off pretty quickly. It's a little bit better than if you slowly do it and then you have to think about your decision and it just kind of like makes everything worse. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was something a little bit different, but I was just genuinely curious to try out this mask. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Comment below and let me know if you guys have A, tried this mask, or B, tried something similar that you guys would recommend. I really love skincare and I love trying out new things, so I would love to hear your recommendations. Also, make sure to thumbs this video up if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more videos like this. And my eyes twitching again as I'm talking. So yeah, I'm going to go put some moisturizer and serum on this poor little face that just got waxed off. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.